Hey everybody and welcome to another GeoGuessr video. Today we're going to be taking a look at this amazing user script for GeoGuessr called the Unity script. This was created by Jupaok, who is a really talented coder in the GeoGuessr community. He's made a lot of different extensions, including one that lets you use Baidu Maps, which is basically China's Google Street View. Really cool programs that he's made, and this one is fantastic. Now, he just released an update for it where you can change the settings. I'm going to show you guys right here. You can change the settings on the map so that you can just make everything disappear, pretty much. There's nothing on the map anymore, literally nothing. Uh, you can have it where you can just see bodies of water, so you can see the oceans, uh, all the different seas and bays and things like that as well. Uh, there's a mode where you can see the map, but there's no labels at all, no borders, no town names, nothing at all like that. Uh, so that's going to be really cool to try out as well. There's just a lot of different things. You can get terrain mode, satellite, uh, really, really cool plugin here. Uh, now another very cool thing, unfortunately it doesn't work on this location, but you can check out different times of when Google Street View came through this location. So you could go back in time to like the earliest coverage, or even go forward to new coverage that might not be on this map specifically. So really, really cool plugin. If you guys want to try it out for yourselves, check it out. There's going to be a link in the description. I highly recommend it. And big shout out to Jupak for this amazing plugin. So with all that said, the first thing I want to try out is I want to play Chicago, and I want to see if I can get a perfect score without having any of the labels on the map. So I'm going to be allowed to move around and stuff. But we're going to set it to the easy 5k option, which gets rid of everything. So I no longer have any <laughs> any street names or anything. So I'm going to have to remember which streets are which. Uh, it's just going to make this a lot more challenging. So let's see. We're at Hiawatha and Mendota. Okay. Um, oh god, this is going to be hard to find. Crap. Uh, so these are just small side streets. So... Oh god, oh, this is, <laughs> this is daunting. We're gonna be somewhere in here, I think. I'm pretty sure. I gotta figure out what major street we're near, because I'm not super familiar with those streets. So, I need to get more information here. I think that's gonna be really critical, is getting the name of the big street that we're by. So, okay, this is Caldwell, yep, so... Oh god. <laughs> Which one's Caldwell? This is Caldwell. And this is the Mendota Street, Mendota Avenue. Okay, so the road's curving around here. I'm gonna assume that that's this. So then, if this is Mendota, oh, this is really difficult. <laughs> Holy crap! Um, ugh. roads like that. I mean, that's probably this street. Then does it go through here? No, it doesn't. Okay, so yeah, that is this one. So this is Mendota. Uh, back at the start. We're on another curved bit here. I think Hiawatha is what it was. Or maybe we were on Mendota. No, we are in Hiawatha, so that's that. That's gotta be this, because yeah, here the street doesn't go through. So we're here. Okay, uh, and thankfully the homes and stuff still show up on the map, so we can pinpoint with that. Oh man, what an interesting first round. Glad we got the 5k there. Oh wow, this is a really fun challenge. All right, so let's go to the next round. See if I can do it. So here we're on Hamlin in 86th. Okay. Oh, man. So Hamlin is 3,800 west. Uh, this is Cicero, which is 4,800. Which is going to make this Pulaski. And this is Kedzie. So Hamlin is one of these in here. Um, this is 55th, Garfield. That's 63rd, so... 67, 71st, 75th, 79th, 83rd, 4, 5, 6. So this is 86th. Okay. <laughs> and this is Pulaski, right? Yes, that's Pulaski. So then this is 39, here's 38. Are we really there? That is not right, is it? Because we need the angled street. So this is not Hamlin. Where is Hamlin then? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a second. I need to see what's going on up here. So we... Oh, here's the angled street. Okay. I might have counted the numbered streets wrong. I must have. Because we have this one here, which is 86th, and then... One more, and then the angled street. So, that's this. Right? Is that right? Oh, this is so confusing. Yeah, because it curves around. Yeah, okay. So that's this. That's the alley. So then one, and then this is 86th. Holy crap. This is honestly harder than I thought it would be. Wow. So we should be here. 
Oh my god. Whoa. This is this is so challenging, but it's so rewarding when you actually get it. Let's go to the next one. We gotta get this done. Okay, hopefully this one is a little more forgiving. So here we're at Sedgwick and Webster. Okay, so uh Webster's twenty two hundred north. Uh this is North Avenue, which is sixteen. Here's Armitage, which is twenty, so twenty one. 2200 north, that's Webster. Now, Sedgwick, I think, is 400 west. I'm not 100% sure on that, so I gotta go out here and see. Is this LaSalle or Clark? Oh, what street is this? Because we're by the Parker School. I recognize this area. What street is this? It is Clark, okay. So, yeah, here's Clark. Oh, crap. So, this is Western. Western, Damon, Ashland, Racine, Halstead, Cedric? Or is this Cedric? Oh my god. <laughs> this is so confusing. So we got Belden. I already lost where, um, I don't know, where is Webster? Is this Webster? Oh, this is crazy. Okay, wait. So this is the Parker School. Let me see if I can find the Parker School on the map here. Is that this? That's got to be this. So we came from here then, right? Because we have this little thing curving. Yeah, that's got to be here. I see, I see. So then we are here. Is that right? Do we have a triangle-shaped building <laughs> just right next to us here? Uh, yeah, seems like it. Yeah, because we got Clark here. Okay, so yeah, then we are here. Wow, this is really tricky. Yes. Oh my god. Oh, I just realized you can see the labels on the results screen, so that's good. You can at least, like, double-check what you did wrong if you miss it, so this is so cool. Let's go to the next one. Oh, man. All right, what do we got this time? What are our streets? Fulton and Hoyne. Okay, so Fulton is the street heading out west here. Fulton Market District, uh, and Hoyne is 2100 west. So, once again, this here is western, which is 24. Uh, so 23, 2, 1. Here's Hoyne. Now, one of these streets is Fulton. Uh, I don't know exactly which. It's hard to say. Uh, but we got the tracks here. Okay. So, yeah, Metro Tracks. And then we have one more street. So, Fulton is the second one. So... Hold on. <laughs> Carol? Uh, is that this? Do we just have the one narrow building here? I guess so, kinda. Unless I've got the wrong tracks here. You know, I might have the wrong tracks. Oh, I see. I see what I'm doing wrong. Yeah. So that's not the Metro. I think that's the green line, actually. So this is the Metro. That's the building. So this is Carroll and this is Fulton. Right? Do we have the empty lot here? Yeah, we do. Okay. Wow, this is really challenging. So, yeah, we're here. Yes. Oh, my God. Okay. One more round of perfection. We got to get this. Oh, we're in an alley. <laughs> oh, God. Even worse. All right. We're going to head east out of here and see what we've got. Oh, man. Uh, Francisco and Jarvis. Okay, so we're really far north here. Francisco is... 29, 3,000, 3, something like that. I'm in Evanston there, that's not Chicago. Jarvis, Francisco, Jarvis is really far north. Like That's one of the farthest north streets in the city. So let's go south and see what happens. Again, I just need the context, because it's, I don't know exactly which streets are which. Uh, but I need the context. So what do we got here? What's this? Some sort of large building here. At the end of Francisco, and then there's Chase. Okay. What what street is this? Is this Yeah, this is California. Okay, yeah, so Francisco's twenty nine. Alright. So once again I'm gonna use Western. This is Western. Uh this is California. So then here is Francisco. That's this street. Gotta <laughs> make sure I follow it up. Okay. So uh this is Peterson Peterson and then Devon Tui Howard. No, 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 no. Devon Pratt, Tui. Howard. So that's Tui. Oh, man. <laughs> I gotta move and see what big street we're by. 
Damn it. See, I'm not good with this far north stuff either. Jarvis, yeah, we know that. California. But what's the street north of Jarvis? Fargo. Birchwood, yeah, we're almost leaving the city here. We're almost in Evanston. Jerome. Okay, here's the light. So this is Howard. Yep, okay. So Peterson, Devon, Pratt, Tui. Here's Howard, so... Oh, God. <laughs> I gotta count backwards. We did Howard, and then we have Jerome. So one street south of Howard. Birchwood is two. Fargo's three. Uh, is this Jarvis now? Jarvis. Jarvis is the fourth street south of Howard. Okay, so, <laughs> oh my god. Howard, one, two, three, four. And I have it clicked on Francisco, and we were in the alley. I think this one. I'm not going to move my marker, though. Let's, let's make sure that I went southeast out of the alley. I think I did, right? Yeah. So we are in this alley. And then... Got the garage and then a gap. The garages aren't really well marked here, that's fine. Oh god. I mean... We're like ten houses down. So... You know, that might be this one marked. And then I have the other clump down there. Yeah, it could be. I'm gonna click here. Let's see. We should be in this alley. Man, what a challenge. This is insane, honestly. Oh no, <laughs> no. <laughs> I didn't get the right one. I was too far. Ah, uh, that's so annoying. If I was one meter closer, I would have had a 5k there. That is very unfortunate. 24, 975. I mean, we pretty much 5k at each round. Like, come on, give or take. That was a really, really challenging thing, but I'm glad that I tried it because that was a lot of fun. Hope you guys enjoyed that as well. So, with that done, let's experiment with some more features of the Unity script. Okay, now I'm going to try ADW here and just play around with all the different formats. I'm going to do No Move and see if I can get a country streak and let's change the map setting here. Let's do. Uh, try Ocean Man. Oh god, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, first of all, what country are we in? It looks like Canada. Yes, okay. Kilometers an hour, so we're in Canada. So... Oh my god. <laughs> the North Atlantic is here. Holy crap. Arctic's up there. I mean, we should be okay if I just click, like, here, right? That's the Pacific... Oh, we can see Hudson Bay is here, yeah. So if I just click here, that should be in Canada. Let's see. Yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> 2,400 points. Amazing. I was in none of it. Wow. All right. Let's go to the next one. See what we got this time. Looks like we are in Taiwan here. So this one's going to be a lot harder to click on. Okay. So, uh, North Pacific, Indian, South China Sea, Philippine Sea. So, yeah, the Philippines are in here somewhere, and then Taiwan is, like, here, and China's, like, doing its thing here, right? Is that... Thailand's here? I'm trying to, like, draw out the map, Vietnam, yeah, Philippines, so... Oh, God, it's somewhere around here. <laughs> this is crazy. Let's, let's go for it. Let's see if I'm close. Oh, so close. 3984. I mean, we'll take it. I, I tried. I'm going to count that as a streak, man. Uh, <laughs> this is so much fun. I, I just love the, all the different options as well. Some of them are just ridiculous. Okay, we're in Japan here. This is low cam. So, similar kind of thing here. We're going to head back over to this area. So, if here was like just past Taiwan, the Taiwan is here. So, Japanese islands here. Japan is just here then, I think. Akatsk is up here. Sakhalin, somewhere. Yeah, th this should be give or take Japan, I think. <laughs> I don't really know. Let's see. Oh, yes, let's go. It actually counted the streak, too. So I was actually up by Hokkaido. So I was a little farther north than I thought. I thought I was clicking more here. That's right, yeah. Sea of Japan is more north of the rest of this. I see. Okay. Okay, that's good to know. Alright, let's go to the next round here. Wow, we're in Japan again, really? Okay. Uh, let's see if I can replicate that. So, Sea of Japan, we now know, is a little bit more north, so we should be like here. 
Nice, I actually clicked on land. Let's go. <laughs> yes. And our last round here for this seed. What do we have? Uh, interesting. Is this just Mexico? I guess so. Looks like Mexico. So... Alright, let's see. Atlantic is here. Gulf of Mexico. Gulf of California. So we know for sure that that's Mexico. Right? <laughs> I think. Yes. Okay, and honestly, not even that bad. That's pretty much just a random plonk in Mexico on a normal day. So, hey, we'll take it. 18.8k. Honestly, not bad. I mean, I was too far away in Canada here. Uh, I probably could have tried to narrow it down a bit more, but that was honestly a lot of fun. Really enjoyed this. I want to try this again, and I want to see if I can narrow things down a little bit more by using, like, lakes and rivers and things, too, and not just the ocean. So, this time we are going to be in Norway. We got the long dashes, so... Okay, let's see. Norwegian Sea. North Sea, Baltic, Barents, so... Somewhere in here. It might be too far up, and it also might be Sweden. Gulf of Bothnia, yeah, I think I'm... Hold on. Oh, this is crazy. So, yeah, Black Sea, Mediterranean. I'm trying to, like, draw Europe. Italy is somewhere here, and then... North Sea, here's the UK. So Norway's like... Yeah, that should be Norway. Close to it anyway, I think. I think. Let's see. Oh, damn it, I was too far off. And again, I'm way farther north than I thought. So the Norwegian sea marker is all the way up here, which is kind of what threw me, I think. Yeah, I'm just, I'm overestimating how far south everything is. I think that's my problem right now. Uh, but I'm going to count the streak. <laughs> Let's go to the next round. See what we got this time. Uh, okay. Uh, what am I looking at this time? Is this... What is this? Is this like Ecuador or something? I think it might be Ecuador. Yeah, with this poll, I don't know. Okay. So Ecuador, let's see. We haven't had to deal with South America yet, so. That's all the Pacific stuff, South Atlantic. Oh, God. This is a pretty sparse area in terms of specific water bodies. Like, there's just nothing marked here. So all we have is just in here. But we know the Caribbean's up here. And that's the Gulf, so Caribbean's here. So all, like, Suriname and everything is, like, here, I guess. So Brazil is like this. So Ecuador is going to be, like, here, right? Gulf of California. So Baja California's here, and then Mexico goes like this. Down to Panama and all that. And then Colombia. I'm going to go more here. I'm going to go there. This is a really hard one, actually. Yeah, I feel like South America's tricky, because there's really nothing here, except for, like, the big bodies of water all around it. So you don't have many landmarks to work with. Let's let's see if that's right. I don't even know. Ah, oh, okay, I was close. It was actually Ecuador, too. Again, I'm just a little bit too... This time I'm too far south, because we're in the southern hemisphere, and I'm too far south now. So yeah, I think that's my problem, is like, maybe the Mercator is throwing me and making it too stretched, or... I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but honestly, that's not bad. And again, I'm gonna bring our street counter up to 12. <laughs> Alright, round number three. Okay. So, we're gonna be in Estonia here, I think, with these bollards, stash lines. So, okay, we should be able to get this. Here is all the Baltic stuff. And again, Norwegian Sea, we remember, that's part far north. So UK is more down here. Norway is down here. Bothnia, yeah. So, what's this? The White Sea? Uh, my mental map is a little bit rusty here. Like, I'm, I can't think where this marker is in relation to the Baltics. But if that's the North Sea and the UK was here compared to it, then we have the North Sea and then... Denmark is somewhere here, Baltic Sea stuff, and then it goes up into the Gulf, so Estonia is probably like this. And then Finland is like here, rest of Russia, and then yeah, that White Sea, Barents. I think, again, I, I don't know, I'm gonna go there, let's see. 
Oh, I'm in Finland. Damn it. Okay. Not bad. So, yeah, the golf goes all the way. Yeah, that goes farther in than I remember. Yeah. Okay, so that's what threw me again. I'm going too far north. But, hey, not bad. This time I did technically click on Finland, so the streak technically is actually dead there. Uh, let's go to round four. Uh, looks like Argentina. We got the black car. Uh, architecture checks out. Street signs, yeah. So, Argentina. Again, South America's tricky, but let's use what we learned from the Ecuador attempt here. So, we know that the Caribbean is up here. Brazil and stuff is here. So, following the Brazilian coast. And then to Uruguay. So, Argentina's like here-ish. Somewhere. I think. Because Ecuador is more here. Peru, Bolivia, yeah, somewhere like that. Let's see. I'm not sure. Oh, it's Uruguay. Wait. Okay, <laughs> damn it. So I just got the country wrong there entirely. Uh, like an idiot, but hey, I mean, I clicked on Argentina. Mission accomplished. Task failed successfully. I clicked on Argentina exactly where I was thinking. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of clicking in the middle there. So I'm glad I got that, but I, I got the country wrong. All right. Let's go to our final round here for this ADW seed. Ooh, look at this. I think we're in Germany. We've stumbled upon some German coverage. All right, back to Europe. Let's see if we can get it done. So, North Sea is there. UK, Netherlands. Germany is like here. And that's like the top of the gulf here sweden so sweden goes like all the way down here and then there's denmark so yeah that, that's pretty much germany i think that checks out in my mind let's see this is so fun though i absolutely love this like this is such a just fresh way to play and i'm too far north again how does this keep happening i'm in the water uh in between denmark and germany so again i had the right idea i just i keep going too far north so not bad again 18-2 that's that's pretty solid i mean I messed up the country here, and yeah, you can see, it's very consistent. Too far south in the southern hemisphere, too far north in the northern hemisphere. Interesting how that worked, uh, but that's really cool. Okay, we're going to play ADW one last time, and this time we are going to use the impossible map. I want to give it a try. I want to see what it's all about, so let's change our map. Oh, it's already set. Cool. Okay, so what are we starting out with? Looks like Slovakia. Got that Czech Slovak architecture, but lots of mountains here, and also uh, they use this long antenna in both countries, but pretty typical in Slovakia too. This is a very Slovakian feeling round, so let's see. Oh, you get the country names. I thought it was just a completely blank map. Okay, that makes things easier, so we'll just click right on the Slovakia word here. Hope for the best. Not bad. We'll take that. Okay, good start. Next one is Taiwan. Low cam Taiwan. So we got the Taiwanese poll, but this is also low cam coverage. It's weird that Taiwan has that kind of... It, it makes for some good bait sometimes with Japan. If you're not being careful. But Taiwan is here. Oh, the name disappears. If you zoom in too much, it goes away. Okay. <laughs> so we're just going to click there. Cool. Okay. Not bad. 47. Next one. We are going to be in Malaysia here, specifically on the peninsular side. This black sticker on the pole like that is found in Malaysia, and only on the peninsula side as well. So, if you ever get this, make sure you click there. So if Singapore's there, then this is the peninsula marker. Yeah. So we'll click there. Not bad at all. Not bad. 48-10. Round 4. Uh, interesting. What am I looking at here? What? Is this Canada? It kind of feels like Canada. I guess it could be... I don't even know which side of the country we're on here. Is this British Columbia? Or is it like Newfoundland? Maybe it's Newfoundland. I, I really don't know here. This is tricky. And this is going to be harder. With the big countries, that's where it gets really tricky. So, oh man. So if that's here, Newfie's like there. I hope it's even Newfie. Let's see. Oh, it's uh, it's Cape Breton Island, Nova Scotia. Okay, not bad. At least we were like in the area. Thirty-six, forty-six. 
Barely clicked on land there. All right, let's go to the last round here, see what we got. Looks like Canada again. More out in the prairie provinces, probably. Any, any clues giving that away? No. Oh, this house is so Midwestern. <laughs> Love that. So yeah, definitely the plains of Canada here. License plate is maybe Manitoba. Yeah, I can see Manitoba here. Okay. Let's give it a whirl. So Canada. See, we don't have St. Pierre and Miquelon to help us today. So we know that's here and with Nufi up here. So Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, up to Quebec, Ontario, Manitoba. Is that how that works? I don't know. Let's see. Oh, God. <laughs> this could be very, very far off. Oh, I actually clicked on Manitoba. Again, I'm too far north. As is seeming to be my big weakness with this format. Uh, but there we go. 20k. Not bad. We actually somehow did better than the other games, which is surprising. But honestly, I, I mean, I'm really happy with uh, how I did with these. Okay, guys, that is going to do it for this quick showcase of the Unity script. Make sure you check it out for yourselves. Check out the download link in the description. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe. And I will see you next time with more GeoGuessr and Geography content.